Well, inmates on South Carolina's death row are waiting to see what their future holds after a South Carolina judge ruled the state's execution methods unconstitutional. This is Riley Benson joining us live right now from downtown Charleston. Riley, this comes months after the state adopted death by firing squad and electrocution as possible execution methods. Good afternoon, Riley. Yeah, Hannah, state leaders really have no legal options to perform executions in South Carolina after those two methods were ruled unconstitutional and the drugs needed for lethal injections nearly impossible to get for years. I was heartened to see the Supreme, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the South Carolina court yesterday uh, overturn these as potential cruel and unusual punishments as inhumane. An upstate judge says South Carolina forcing inmates to choose between death by firing squad or the electric chair is prohibited by the Constitution, adding the state, quote, turned back the clock. State Representative Spencer Wetmore supports the ruling. These are both incredibly barbaric methods of execution, uh, the potential for botched executions, the potential for uh, pain and suffering by the inmates is incredibly high. Now state leaders face with the challenge with drugs needed for lethal injection nearly impossible to get paired with the decision. Political analyst John Bersini says it's back to the drawing board. The path forward uh, really depends on how far they want to take it. Uh, the state, if they were willing to entertain additional methods of execution, those probably would have been included already. One option Brasini says elected officials could consider the state taking things into its own hands. Some have basically called for the state to make its own drugs. We might see some additional conversations expand to explore what possibilities might exist. The debate is likely to continue. Representative Wetmore says new methods for death row inmates could go beyond capital punishment. I think we have to ask ourselves, is this what we want to be in the business of as a state? Or should we be looking at other forms of punishment for our inmates who are convicted in these heinous crimes? Hannah Gunnar McMaster says he will appeal the decision made by that judge. Now, it's unclear if and when state legislators will begin discussions about alternative methods following that ruling by a judge. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Raleigh Benson, Count on Two.